Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mr. Your William. We're playing Better Than Wolves. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm still a little bit sick. Um, I've been taking some day quills, kind of helping with the uh, coughing and all that, but my throat's still very sore, and so talking a lot, it, well, irritates and it makes me want to cough more. <laughs> so, uh, this episode I'll be doing a speed build, which is what was already planned for this episode anyways. But it's uh, double good, because that means I don't have to talk all that much. Um, but, I do have some mail to read, and I do have some items I wish to craft for you guys. So, I'll read some of the mail now. Let's see what we got. You are an amazing builder, as always. What will you be building next? Asked Dark Wolf Studio 2. Well, very good question. And I'll actually answer this one, um, this episode. Because, like I said, it's a speed build episode. There you go, a book for you. Oh, you, you didn't pick up the book. Oh, how mean. Um, that means it's gonna go into the hopper, I just realized that. Or not hopper, the uh, cauldron. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, gotta figure out a better way of disposing of my books. Throwing it at the wolves won't work anymore. Yeah, that works. Um, but I am going to be uh, building something that will help me progress in my uh, into my next stage of development with this mod. So it's actually quite extensive build, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I uh, will show you guys what it is and after I'm done reading this, and I craft a few items. Uh, You're not better than me, a wolf, says Killer Wolf. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Wolfie, but yes, I am. Nah, I'm joking. But um, let's start with the uh, crafting. So um, I believe this is the recipe. If you put that, like zo. Put a redstone there, a gear there, and some smooth stone. You will get what's called a turntable. Now, I'm actually going to need uh, three of these. Oops. Oh, come on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the rest of the gears. Perfect. Turntables. I like how I have my thing organized now. That's just some excess stuff. Do I, have, I thought I had a place for sawdust. Oops. Um. Didn't mean to put that there. Is it this or this? That. Okay. So, um, a turntable is something that can be connected directly to mechanical power. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way of doing that. Uh, I guess, for example, I could just quickly connect it down here. Um, let's cut some of this off. There we go. Take that. Take that, you! And, um, this has a little bit of, a uh, power output, so that's perfect. So I'll just take that one more higher. Now, um, uh, I will be just demonstrating this in a little bit more detail in a bit. But just for the example of this, this works fine. Um, if you have a turntable connected to a gearbox, so take that off and put that there and put a gearbox on top. It will. Can I hop on this? I didn't think so. It's a, not a full block. Uh, I will do this instead then. Do that and that. Perfect. And not perfect. There we go. Alright. See how this is now emitting smoke? That means it's getting power. Uh, if you put something on top of it, it'll actually rotate. Now you can't see that this is rotating because it's a square object. But if I put something on it, at first, probably just to make it easier. I'm going to clear out the sides here so you can see this. Like that. Now, if I put something on the side of this, let's say like a torch, you'll see the torch start rotating around the object. So, um, there you go. See, it's moving around the object there. Now, uh, turntables are also used in pottery to make uh, clay bowls and bases and stuff like that. Um, you can use this with a redstone torch if you wanted to. Get back here, you. Aha. And you can make a clock basically with it. Uh, whenever it ticks, you know, here it'll tick a clock just like this is. So instead of using a redstone repeater system, which is, you know, it seems to be working now, but it has a tendency of not starting up properly, you can connect it to one of these because the water mill always is activated. As long as it understands that water is moving, it'll create power. And as long as this is creating power, it'll rotate. It also has settings here which I believe is, sh click it without anything in your hand, there you are. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head right now what the different intervals are. 
I believe this is one second per side, and it's, then it goes to like four seconds per side or something like that eventually. Uh, and then like the last one I think is a 20 second full rotation. Um, but don't quote me on the numbers, I will figure that out uh, by next episode, but I just didn't feel like uh, doing that research. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsies. Didn't mean to break that one. <laughs> Meant to do that. Did I break it? No. Good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what the turntables do. Now, for what I'm going to be using it for, as I said, you know, it is used to rotate objects. It's also used to... Um, to create a pottery in pots. So that's what this building's going to be. It's going to be a pottery building. And so, let me... By the way, I turned, told it to be daylight for a very long time for the recording, uh, just because the night intervals just keep screwing up and it annoys me. So I have all my wood right here, like always. Um, and then I have all of my stone materials and extra stuff in here, like low stones for lighting and all that in this section. So um, let's go ahead and start grabbing some of the stuff. Now, I don't need some of the stuff in my inventory right now. I don't need redstone or torches. I don't need this much food, though I will probably be grabbing some later on. Do you want this? I could just stack that with that. And then the turntable, I'll need that later. And the axe. So, um, this is where I'll be building it. I plan this to be kind of like um, a little bit larger structure than what I've built before, so I'm not sure how these trees are going to interfere. I kind of cleared out most of the trees here when I was gathering some wood earlier uh, in the episode, or not last episode, but the one before that, in between episodes, I cleared out some of the wood to get ready for it. Uh, but I will need to clear out some more, hence the golden axe here. And uh, once I get this cleared out a bit more, I'll uh, start the speed build. So I'll see you guys in a bit.
But I hope you guys enjoyed the speed build. I actually had to raise the roof. I didn't realize that I didn't go one up more than I was supposed to. So I did that off camera just because it was going to be really boring for you guys to re-watch me build the roof or just scrap the recording and re-record it. So uh, I just kept the original recording and um, just raised it up one because uh, that's how it's supposed to look instead of where it was originally. But I like it much better. Um, I also need to grab some glass panes. I forgot to do that. But I do want to finish the interior, which is kind of hard to record. Uh, so I'm just going to do that while you guys are watching here. So one glass panes for those. I put glass blocks up in the upper area because they're you know not easy to get to, so they should be thicker windows anyways. Uh, so I think that looks a lot better. We're down here. There are more actual viewing windows. Maybe you can open it and get some air in or whatever. So they should be like more panel like. Um, keep forgetting to grab stuff from here. Nope, I did grab it. So uh, my tables. I think I want to put up there. I'm gonna have two extra just because it crafts in fours or something or threes can't remember exactly the number it crafts in but this is how many I wanted uh, I want to put let's see let's put a crafting table here in the corner I want an object there and let's put like a double chest there <clears throat> there we go now the object will be represented as dirt for now but it will be an object eventually then we have the doors, so we have one here. We have one for the back patio. I actually cut this out a little bit more to make a pathway, and I will probably actually put a gravel pathway there eventually. Uh, probably make it a dispersed gravel or something like that so it looks like it's been walked on a lot. Here is my fireplace. Let's finish up this room. Uh, I didn't finish it because, like I said, interior is kind of hard to get the camera pointed in the right direction. Um, and that one, that one, and this one. Ah, whatever. I could probably hop up in there. I lit it inside for multiple reasons. One, these are upside down slabs, and Minecraft still has the glitch with upside down slabs uh, and lighting. So it kind of doesn't happen as uh, evidently as it did before. I also want to put a torch there. I'll put a torch here and I'm going to once again do my little hop routine get that up and same here I'm actually going to put this one back there we go all right so this is my storage shed for the pottery so this is things like you know extra clay or coloring materials or uh, on fired pottery or fired pottery, you know, this is where they would store that kind of stuff when they're working on things And so I kind of like it. It has some extra tough uh, Support frames here to you know, just keep this room secure You know solid cobblestone no windows or anything so light can't damage any of the products besides obviously the torches which Would you know be turned off if they if it was like a on and off type of a room or they would just t put the torches off when the, they're done for the night um, you know, kind of a dry environment. So I, I kind of like that look. Uh, here is kind of like the workbench. So here is where whatever you're kind of working on right now. And then, you know, your crafting table obviously makes sense. These are actually going to be changed. Um, I don't want them to be dirt blocks. But they will be. And no, they're not going to be turntables, kind of. Down here they will be, so I'm going to quickly hop down here and do that. Actually, I should probably do that from up here. Yeah. Come on, there we go. So uh, right there will be a turntable. Of course, I have to like land on it. Oh, whoops, too low. Um, is it? Yeah, it's pickaxe for turntables um so here yeah that's where the turntable will be so i do need a dirt block underneath that will be a gear eventually i don't have the gears right now 
but I will. Hence why I'm kind of knocking off the corners of it. So when I'm digging my way through, I can kind of know where it is. And I'll be digging my way down there uh, between episodes probably. All right, so now we have the turntables. Now, like I said, a turntable will turn a single block, right? So if I put this snow here, it'll turn that snow and rotate it around, which by the way, I got in the tundra biome during my live stream. Um, it'll turn this uh, around and anything on the sides, torches, like items will go around it, but these blocks will not. So you don't have to worry about the whole room turning around or anything breaking. It'll just rotate this block. It'll also rotate whatever block is above it. So this will be very useful if I put a clay block on top of it. And that I will show in a bit. And also, I want a piston on top of this one. And there's a very specific reason for a piston being this block where those are snow blocks. And that I will show in the next episode when I actually hook up power to these guys and all that. Now, um, after you get the pottery from the turntables here, I'm going to need to actually furnace it. So that's what this is. This is a cauldron. Or not a cauldron, a kiln. Ugh. Sick. Shush. Anyways, a kiln is very easy to make. You need four bricks in that format. So, you know, these guys, these are brick stairs so that the things don't hook up to it. They could be anything. They could be obsidian. They could be glass. They could be glowstone. It doesn't matter. But the ones that do matter is the one on top, the one on the bottom here, and the two on the side. Even the back one doesn't matter. Um, once these four are shaped in this matter, this is now technically a kiln. A kiln... Just like anything else that requires, you know, heat to produce something, obviously requires a heat source. That's what this hibachi is for. Not only does it emit, you know, fire, which is awesome, but with the bellows, which I also need, hence where I'm going to get most of my gears from, by the way, guys. <laughs> yes, I am going to destroy this long pathway. But that's okay, because I'm not going to do it on cam, but I am letting you guys know that this is where most of my gears are going to be coming from. <laughs> um, and also my clock. But um, a hibachi will be used for the heat source, because um, this only needs netherrack. It's not a super fancy... I mean, yeah, I could put a hibachi and stoke it to make things like the tan leather, like I showed you, um, and tello and all that stuff. But what I really need is cooked pottery. So I'm going to do is actually let's knock that down. And right here is a layer of gravel, which is awesome. All right. So let's, uh, let's put some light in here. So I'm going to put the hibachis, hibachis right there. Then I'm going to put glowstone, or not glowstone, redstone torches underneath these. Now I only have one right now. So, well, that's not very useful. But, um, for example, let me get a dirt block so I can get out of here too. Um, if I put the hibachi on like that, there you go. It's just a normal fire, right? A normal fire is not enough to heat a kiln. I have to have it have a stoked flame, which is uh, what it had with the bellows over there. So right here, next to the hibachis, will be a um, bellows. So let's see. The fire's on this plane. I could probably put the bellows right here. Uh, that might be a little too close. Right there is probably a good spot for the bellows. That way it doesn't catch fire or anything. And then it'll blow f uh, air into here. Stoke the flames, which will turn that on. Um, and obviously the uh, more hibachis, the hotter this will get. The hotter this will get, the quicker it will cook. All this will be really kind of worked on in the next episode. Um, but I did want to show you guys, you know, what my plan is for the uh, for the next episode, so you guys uh, can kind of I don't know prepare or whatever. <laughs> but um, if you guys uh, want to suggest any comments for kind of back here, like I said, I'm thinking 
you know, make like a cobblestone pathway, you know, like some cobblestone here and then a cobblestone block there and there and there, kind of like little stepping stones to whatever main road I've designed because, you know, the front of the house is there, so I'll probably build a main road here connecting all the different buildings. So like a mini little cobblestone path. Or should I make this like, you know, put a fence around it and turn it into a garden or should I turn it into something else? What, do you have a suggestion here? Um, you're in mine, but I'd like to know what you guys think. I might use it, who knows. Um, before we do stop the episode though, I do have some more things I wish to read. Where's my gearboxes, there we go. Ah, see this thing's already becoming useful. <laughs> Um, let's read some more mail. I believe I still have some mail left. Let's go all the way over here. Before I do, I do want to collect all this hemp. Rah! Yeah, I know you're so sad and lonely. Haven't been petted all day. Yeah. Here, have a sugar. Have some hemp. Make it happy. Give me that back. All right, let's uh, read the mail. Nope, button. Well, now you know I have two mail decks. Uh, have you ever been to the end? I have been to the end world before the uh, day that it came out with the update with the end world. I actually hopped into the end world and explored it and all that fun stuff. Have I been to the end during a let's play though? I have not. Maybe this let's play I might hop into the end and say hello to the ender dragon um, that'd be kind of a cool thing to try and accomplish who knows Whee! don't step on that I'm just gonna take this because <laughs> there's only one left damn now I want some pound kirk that was from the song from the uh, last uh, speed build so Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like, comment, and subscribe to join the epicness. This is Mr. Willy signing off. Adios.